Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in operating system uh, that is in uh, disk scheduling algorithms. That is a scan scheduling algorithm. So in our previous session, we have seen the complete introduction about uh, disk scheduling algorithms, the key terms of uh, disk scheduling algorithms, as well as we have seen two uh, disk scheduling algorithms, uh, that is FCFS, first come first serve, and SSTF, shortest uh, seek time first. So similar to that, uh, we will see uh, one more uh, disk scheduling algorithm, it is a scan scheduling algorithm, which is also known as elevator algorithm. So here, the uh, read write head will be keep on moving on one side and once it reaches to the highest number of track then again it will just uh, travel to the backward right and it will process the request so it will move in a only one direction so until it reaches to the highest track number so we know that so in the disk okay there will be a concentric circles which we call it as a tracks and the track numbers will be starting from inner to the outer okay so that means a center circle towards the outer circuit so the last track is nothing but the last one outer outer track right so here a read write head moves in one direction only one direction okay and read right head move backward once it reaches to the maximum track number maximum track number so in this example we are taking some 0 to 199 so 199 is the last track so whenever the read write head moves towards this 199 then only the read write head will be uh, again uh, it start from backward to the forward right then read write head processes the request during its path towards inner track or simply we can say towards least track number least track number okay so once that read right head reaches to 199 it will start moving backward so during the backward again it will start processing the request during its path okay now let us take this example so first first current head position is at 100 so i'll start with the 100 itself so what it means so it will start in a forward direction until it reaches to the maximum point. So, here after 100, what is the next possible uh, request? So, 150. So, just request 2 will be 150. Request 2 will be 150 and then 160. So, it does not start with the 55. Okay, it, it, now the rate right head is at 100. So, it will only move towards, move forward, right? So, 100, 102. 150 150 to 160 so the third request is at 160 okay 160 then uh, 184 forward so request 4 will be 184 184 okay then it will reach us to 199 so it will reach us to 199 it will reach us to 199 so once it reaches to the maximum number so that is the last track okay so for example you can consider this is a cylinder oh, sorry this is a platter so inside this platter there will be a concentric circles okay so we are saying all these concentric circles are 
tracks. So the number of this track will be 0 and the number of this track will be 199 for example in this case. So read write head whenever it touches the last track so again it will start towards this forward direction. So what is the next possible thing among this one? So 90 which is nearer okay. So the next request R5 is at 90. 90 okay then after 90 58 so r6 is at 58 next 55 r7 will be again 55 example okay and then it moves towards 39 r8 is at 39 So here it is 39. The next request is at 38 itself. It's slight 38. And finally, it's at 18. R10 is at 18. So now you can see it starts here. So it moves forward. Whenever it touches, it go backward. This one. So this is how the requests will be processed in scan algorithm so only it will start in a forward direction so now in this case the current head position is at 100 so the next possible uh, request to be processed is obviously 150 so if the current head position is at 50 then the next position i mean the next request which is being processed is 55 then 58 then 90 then 150 then 160 184 then it reaches 199 and again it comes back to 0 okay once it hits the largest number it comes back to 0 so during coming back it will process the request of the remaining thing okay so hope you understood this one and now we will write what are the whatever the request being processed first 100 from 100 the next request processed is 150 okay so the difference is a 50 the seek time okay next 150 from 150 the next one is a 160 which is a 10 and from 160 the next one is 184 so which is a 24 okay so 100 to 150 150 to 160 160 to 184 and then 184 to 199 so the next one is a 199 okay it moves towards a 199 then 199 to what is the next uh, possibility it's a 90 90 which is a 109 from 90 it moves to from 90 it moves to 58 so which is uh, 32 from 58 the next position is i mean the next request is a 55 which is a three seek time and from 55 the next sequence is at 39 so which is around 16 from 39 the next one is a 38 which is a one from 38 the next one is a 18 38 and the next one is a 18 which is a 20 okay now the seek time what is the seek time the time taken to move the read write head okay to the desired location or desired track so seek time can be the addition of all these things okay so we can write it as 50 plus 10 plus 24 plus 109 plus 32 plus 3 plus 16 plus 1 plus 20 so which becomes 0 1 7 10 12 21 25 so it will be 5 2 2 plus 2 4 5 8 10 11 16 6 1 1 plus 1 it is 2 so you can see the seek time is also less when compared to the fcfs when compared to the first come first serve, the risk is less. 
okay and here also there is no starvation so reordering is there so reordering is there so here also we are just following the reordering and uh, low seek time compared to fc fs okay fc fs so in no starvation starvation is uh, very less possibility of having the starvation okay so hope you understood this uh, scan algorithm which is also called as elevator algorithm so because we are uh, i mean the read write head has been moving forward and a backward based upon the request so one thing just remember it moves in a single direction whenever it reaches to the maximum track it will again start backward towards the zeroth track so during its traverse traversal it will process all the requests in that particular path okay so hope you understood and if you are having any uh, queries regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much